Hello and welcome to this tutorial 2 of Cape Open to Cape Open Simulator. Today we will learn how to add and simulate an heater or a cooler. The icon is given below. Now this is the icon you will see when you include the heater cooler in your process flow sheet in the simulator. What is a heater or a cooler? Heater or cooler is a unit operation module. It is used to calculate the heat to be added or removed to raise or reduce the temperature of a material stream. For a given heat input, it can calculate the rise in temperature or the fall in temperature of a stream. For this, we can take a small problem and demonstrate how to use it. Let's take the problem. The problem is a liquid stream of 60 is to 40 benzene is to toluene mixture enters a heater at one atmosphere 25 degrees Celsius. Find the heat required to vaporize 50% of this mixture. I have already configured the thermodynamics package for the simulator. If you want to learn how to add a material stream in a Cape Open to Cape Open simulator, please have a look at my video Cape Open to Cape Open simulator, how to add a material stream already posted on YouTube. Now we draw the stream. Now this stream will be the input for the heat exchanger. So I rename it as input. I change the units, pressure to atmosphere, temperature to Celsius. The pressure of the feed stream is 1 atmosphere and the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The benzene is 60% that is 0.6 mole fraction and the toluene is 0.4 and we fix the flow rate to 1 mole a second. Now as you can see all the thermodynamic properties have been calculated. Now close this. Now go to this icon. This icon is the insert unit operation icon. Once we click this, all the unit operations available in the Cape Open simulator are shown. Today we will simulate heater cooler or heat exchangers. We have two unit operations here. One is a heater cooler and another one is a heat exchanger. Today we will learn how to simulate heater cooler. So we select heater cooler. Click select and drag and drop it. Click on the input stream and join it to the heater cooler. We can rename it by double clicking on this. So I rename it to a heater. Again click on the material stream palette. Come to the heat exchanger. Click on the heat exchanger. And again click back. This is the output stream of the heat exchanger. We can rename it. I have renamed it as output. Now double click on the heat exchanger. Click on ports. Here it clearly shows you in case you have any doubts what is the inlet and what is the outlet connected to the heat exchanger. The inlet is input and the outlet is output. Inlet to the heat exchanger is the input stream. Outlet to the heat exchanger is the outlet stream. Now click on name. The name is heater. We can rename the heat exchanger here. The description is already generated. 
we can write comments if we wish to click on status unit specification complete click on edit we can edit the information or give the information to the heat exchanger in two ways one is either we can go to status and we can click on show GUI or we can go on edit now let's go to status and click on show GUI now there are two modes in which this calculation can be done by the heat exchanger one is either we define the outlet temperature or the second is we give the heat duty we can also give the heat duty from an energy stream more about that later now let us click on outlet temperature and close it and close it now come back to the input stream and just disconnect it we double click on it now we want to find out that what is the temperature at which the heat exchanger will evaporate 50% of the feed come to phase fractions double click on phase fractions and put 0.5 use current temperature has to be selected and click OK so we get the temperature as 92.142996 we make a note of it 92.142996 now again enter 25 degrees Celsius in the temperature text box and close it and join the stream to the heat exchanger now double click on the heat exchanger click on show GUI outlet temperature has been selected reconfirm close it when we go to edit which is much more simpler to read we can change the units of the information that we want to give so outlet temperature I have changed the units to degree Celsius and let me give the temperature as 92 and click close now click solve and as we can see the outlet stream is at one atmosphere and 92 degrees Celsius and the mole vapor fraction of the vapor is 0.47 and the mole vapor fraction of the liquid is 0.52 if you want we can slightly increase the temperature to 92.172992 and click enter and close it run and we can see that the mole fraction of the vapor is 0.5 and the mole fraction of the liquid is 0.5 double click on the heater once again and we get what is the heat to be given to the heater to raise its temperature to raise the temperature of the inlet stream to 92.1 172992 the heat required is 25191.1565 watts if you wish to read it in kilowatts we can convert the units into kilowatts and we get the information in kilowatts the heat duty here is 25.19 kilowatts click close so now I have demonstrated that how we can get the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a stream. Now let's go to the other part of the problem that what will be the output temperature if a specified amount of heat is given to the heater. So we double click and we go to status 
and we go to show GUI. Since we are going to specify the amount of heat duty, let us click on specified heat duty. Now in specified heat duty, we can enter the information either in this text box or close it, go to edit and give the information here in the edit screen. So we wish to enter the heat duty. Now the information that is covered in gray, this information cannot be entered here. As you can see here, this information is the output. Only the information which is available in the white portion can be changed or entered. So here we go. We wish to give the amount of heat. So let's give a heat of 26 kilowatts and see what is its effect on the input stream or what is the outlet temperature of the input stream. If heated to, if heated, given a heat of 26 kilowatts, click solve, click on the output and here we get it. The pressure is 1, the temperature is 92.341379 and the molar vapor fraction is 52%, roughly 53%. So now I have taught you how to use heater in co and cooler or heater cooler in both the modes. We can obviously use this heater cooler to cool the fluid also. So let's work on the same example. Let's do one thing now. Let's go to the input and give a temperature of 92. Double click on the heater and say that we want to cool the fluid to 25 degrees Celsius. So we have to click, go on status, show GUI, outlet temperature, close, edit, 25 degrees Celsius. Let us fix the temperature to 25 degrees Celsius and close it. Click run and check the outlet temperature. The outlet temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The stream is a liquid. Now let's check the input. The input is one atmosphere, 92 degrees Celsius, and the stream is a two phase mixture. Now let us see how much is the heat to be removed. Double click on the heat exchanger and we get the heat duty as minus 24.3545 kilowatts. So whenever the answer is given in positive, the heat has to be given to the heater or cooler. And whenever the answer is in negative, the heat has to be removed. Now let us remove a little more amount of heat than 24.35 kilowatt and see the effect on the outlet temperature. So we double click on heater once again, Go to status, click on show GUI, click on specified heat duty, close it, go on edit, double click and put minus 25 kilowatts as the heat to be removed. Close the box, run. Click on the output temperature. And yes, the outlook, output stream has a pressure of one atmosphere and the temperature now is 19.97 degrees Celsius. So this was all about adding a heater oblique cooler or a heater and cooler to a process simulation flow sheet and using it. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. More tutorials will be taken on other unit operations and how to use them. Keep watching and do comment. Do comment on the Facebook if you have any comments that you have on these videos. 
write them down clearly so that I can take the comments and post my replies. Your comments will also help me in further improving the tutorials and planning for future tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.